This is Larry Pierce, I'm going to instruct you on how to play the game of Warshers. We always like to call it Warshers because of our uh, Midwest hillbilly accent, I don't know. But it, it is a simple game for simple people, we always say that. You just take four industrial sized Warshers and throw them in a plywood box with a hole in it. <laughs> and of course, uh, alcohol has to be involved. You can't play Warshers without drinking. The version I'm going to show you right now is the one me and my friends play here in Indiana. It's really pretty simple to build a washer game. Uh, one 4x8 sheet of plywood you can get two games out of, and uh, 15 feet of rope and some carpet. And the washers themselves are kind of hard to find, really. I order mine from a hardware store, and uh, I suppose you could probably order them from any hardware store. You just paint them two different colors so you know who's is who's. It'd probably be easier if you just go to DirtyCountryMovie.com and download the dimensions. Okay, the next thing would be uh, make sure you have another drink. The more you drink, the better you hit the hole. You can play the game just one-on-one, -on -one, or you can play with two-on-two. -two. And if you're playing partners, your partners stand at the opposite end. And some people are better than others, so we just draw for uh, partners so you never know who you're going to get. You just hope you get somebody good, like one of my friends, Steve or Denny. There's several of them that's pretty good. And we start by flipping a coin, and whoever wins the flip gets to pick their color and go first. That's very important. We call it having position. And whenever you throw washers, you throw all four washers at, at one time, back to back. And you can stand wherever you want, just as long as your foot don't go past the front of the board. Uh, everybody will bitch about that, though. like on bowling, they'll say, eh, you scratched. Then after you throw all four, then your opponent throws four, and, uh, and then you tally up the score. And the way you score it, it, it it's not like horseshoes. Uh, there are no points for leaners. But it goes something like this. It's three points for one in the hole, one point for one on top of the board. And one worcher cancels out another. For instance, if the opponent gets one on the board and you've got one on the board, it cancels it out. It sounds a little complicated, but it's really not. But I'll give you some examples. Like, if you've got three worchers on top and nothing in the hole, and the other team gets one worcher on top and nothing in the hole, the, the first team gets two points. Another example is uh, if, if one team gets uh, one washer in the hole and nothing on top of the board, and the next team gets all four washers on top of the board, but nothing in the hole, the first team gets three points because they got one in the hole. The ones on top don't mean anything. The first team to get to 21 is the winner. And it doesn't have to be exactly 21. You can go over. But when you're playing washers, you've got to know the right terminology. Like, you know, nobody home means there's no score there. and. Uh, because alcohol is very much a part of the game. We call it aiming fluid. Sometimes like if you bounce off, off the grass or off the cement, whatever you're playing on, and it bounces up onto the board or maybe even in the hole, we call it a hippity hop. When you hear nothing but hole, you just hear it go whoop. And we say that, you throw a whoop. And when you fuck up when you're playing washers, you gotta use the right words. You gotta say, God, God damn it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's really simple. All it takes is a trip to the hardware store and, and the liquor store, of course. And a, a, a nice day outdoors, a bunch of close friends. Uh, that's all it takes. I'm Larry Pierce, and that's how you play washers. You good? Pretty great. Okay.